What's going on? EDC. Everybody carries it. You might step back and say, I don't carry EDC. Well, yeah, you do. If you're carrying your wallet, your keys, an ink pen, a knife, you're carrying an EDC. That goes for you too, girls. You're carrying your purse. What all's in your purse? Your money, your checkbook, your credit cards, debit cards, whatever, if you're doing it right. Keys, maybe some mace to keep the creeps off. You carry an EDC also. Come back, I got something to talk about in my EDC. So the piece of equipment I want to talk to today is about my Olight right here. It's an S2R Baton 2 flashlight. Piece of my EDC that I carry every day. And honestly, I've got smaller lights that I could carry, but I end up grabbing this one every day. Um, it's not like uh, there's a flag on it or anything that says, here, grab me. But I grab it every day unconsciously. Knives, I have dozens of knives to pick from. This is a Benchmade. You can see, Benchmade knife. I can choose any knife I want to, but every day, and I do. I change it up from day to day. But this flashlight I have chosen to carry every day here for the last, I know, six months. Easy. Um, it is rechargeable by the tail cap, magnetic. Olight's patented. Magnetic tail caps. And it is, does use a SB, USB plug up. So you can plug it into a computer. You can plug it into any kind of USB receptacle you might have, like I do. And uh, that's how you charge the light. When it's, when this, there's a little light in here. You can't see it, but there's a little light in the center of that. When it's orange, it's charging. When it's green, it's done. For instance, when the light is on, you might be able to see that green light right there. You might. When it changes, starts changing colors, you know it's time to change, charge the light. Now, light uses a six, uh, 18650 battery, rechargeable battery from Olight. It is the original battery that I put in there when I got the light. Um, this thing will go from 0.5 lumens all the way up to 1150 lumens. Um, I think the run, uh, okay. It'll run on that 1150 lumens for up to two minutes. And then it drops down to 400 lumens. Now, I'm not going to show you the different lumens and stuff like that. I mean, you can only tell so much on camera. Um, cycling through. There's the bright. So anyway, um, the, the light itself weighs 98.5 grams. I am looking at notes. Or 3.47 ounces. So it's not a light light. It's not a light light. <laughs> it does have some girth to it. It has some good texturing on it. I use it a lot in the warehouse when I'm having to look in back one of the aisles and um, the lighting is not so great. I pop this out and look at part numbers and SKUs and stuff. But if I had to recommend a light for somebody that needs an everyday carry that's, I mean, it's no bigger than my uh, knife I've got in my hand. It's bigger around, but I mean, not by much. And I always carry it in my key pocket, as I call it. Um, I don't notice it. The other good thing about it within that pocket, I never have pulled this thing out where it was on because of pressure. 
that switch takes a lot to turn on. It is a side mount switch. Um, but you have to push it and see if you get the, you can actually hear that thing click on and click off. That light gets pretty bright. Um, I'm not going to quote prices right now. I think it was in, it had a show special then, so I got it fairly decent price on it. I will uh, link it in my Amazon account. If you want to buy one, go through there to get it. Remember, it doesn't cost you any more. It's just mid-10, I'll get a little something-something for it. But I highly recommend the lights in, the, I think, the $80 range. I may be wrong. It may be a little less than that. But you do get a pouch that comes with it. I don't use it. I just stick this in my, use the belt clip. I'm it in my pocket. And it kind of like a knife. Um, what a lot of people don't realize, you can take that, clip and slide it on a rim of a hat like so if need be and use it like so um there's a lot of things you can i mean it's it's a good light the size is perfect the you know as far as not being too big but not being too small you actually can hold it in your hand and feel like you really got something in your hand as far as a flashlight goes all right, guys, that's pretty much it. I'm giving you what I think of the light. I think it's a good light. I think it's a well worth it light. You know, I was kind of, I'm always kind of weary of paying big money for certain equipment. Well, this was worth it. It was well worth it. So I, you know, I'm not going to tell you, you got to go out there and spend $80 on a flashlight. But if you do, you won't be sorry and you won't you won't regret the purchase because the light it's going to do what it's supposed to do every time so anyways guys that's it for now uh don't forget to check out all the other links down below check out the website subscribe to it uh check me out on instagram and all the other places i am most of all subscribe to me here and click that little bell icon so you know when i do the next thing and hit like if you don't like it, I guess don't, you know, just get the other one. So for the next time, be prepared. See you.